Gene, how can businesses ensure that their pursuit of innovation with Gen AI aligns with broader societal values and norms? Leading innovation with generative AI is like being a gardener in a vast digital ecosystem. Ethical frameworks and governance are the trellis that supports growth. Like pollinating bees, open dialogues and stakeholder engagement foster cross-pollination of ideas, ensuring the AI blooms fit the garden's landscape and contribute to its diversity. Regular checks for bias and privacy are the pruning shears and gloves, necessary tools to shape growth carefully and prevent the overgrowth of unintended consequences. This approach to AI innovation plants the seeds for trust and social cohesion, showcasing how technology, when guided by human values, can yield a harvest that feeds the collective good of society. What are the biggest ethical pitfalls organizations need to be mindful of? Paul, in 2024, the biggest ethical pitfall organizations need to be mindful of is the balance between innovation and privacy. As Gen AI's capabilities expand, the temptation to delve into vast troves of data is high, but so is the risk of breaching individual privacy. Organizations must establish and adhere to stringent ethical guidelines that protect consumer data and ensure transparency in how that data is used. Another pitfall is bias. Gen AI systems learn from data, which can unfortunately reflect existing prejudices. Companies must rigorously audit their AI systems to identify and rectify any biases that could lead to unfair or discriminatory outcomes. Finally, there's the risk of over-reliance on Gen AI, which could potentially displace human judgment in critical decision-making processes. It's essential for leaders to foster a culture where Gen AI supports rather than supplants human expertise. Additionally, the potential for AI to displace jobs calls for ethical workforce transitions, ensuring employees are reskilled and new opportunities are created. Gene, what's the role of senior organizational leaders in setting the model for responsible AI use? Senior leaders lead by example by visibly engaging with AI projects, advocating for ethical practices, and implementing rigorous governance standards. They demonstrate a commitment by participating in training alongside their teams and promoting open discussions about AI's ethical implications. By making informed decisions about AI use and actively addressing potential risks, they set a precedent for the organization, showing that ethical considerations are not just theoretical concerns, but practical business imperatives. Their visible involvement signals to all employees that responsible AI is a core value, encouraging everyone to uphold these principles in their daily work. How do leading organizations manage the ongoing burden of complying with responsible AI principles? Leaders build robust governance structures, emphasizing ethical considerations as core to AI project planning and execution. By embedding these principles into their strategic operations and decision-making processes, Compliance becomes a byproduct of routine activities, ensuring that ethical AI use enhances rather than burdens the organizational mission. Gene, across its many uses, Gen AI will need careful monitoring. Are humans up to this task? Humans are indeed up to the task of monitoring Gen AI, but the complexity and volume of data involved mean they would benefit from AI assistance. While humans excel at understanding context, ethical subtleties, and nuanced judgment, AI can handle continuous, high-volume data analysis and flag potential issues. This collaborative approach allows for rigorous oversight, combining human discernment with AI's efficiency, ensuring Gen AI is used responsibly and effectively. Can you explain operationally how this collaborative approach might work? This approach entails a system where humans set the parameters and objectives for what needs to be monitored in Gen AI applications. AI systems then continuously scan for anomalies or deviations from these established norms, providing real-time analysis and reporting. Human operators would review these AI-generated reports, especially for complex decisions or when AI flags a potential ethical or compliance issue. This allows for an efficient division of labor, with AI handling the breadth of monitoring and humans addressing the depth, particularly in areas requiring a nuanced understanding. Isn't there an inherent danger in allowing AI to monitor itself? Yes. 
Allowing AI to monitor itself does present inherent risks, such as overlooking subtle biases or ethical nuances that an algorithm might not detect. There's also the danger of AI systems developing errors or vulnerabilities that could propagate without human detection. Human oversight remains indispensable to ensure accountability, interpret AI findings, and make final judgments. Gene, with all of the focus on Gen AI right now, do companies risk losing sight of the power of predictive AI? How should they make sure they are thinking about AI holistically? Paul, businesses must ward against the lure of focusing solely on the newer AI capabilities and neglecting the proven strengths of predictive analytics. To navigate this, companies should craft a well-rounded AI vision that equally values the predictive power of traditional AI in decision-making, risk assessment, and operational optimization. Leaders should foster teams that are fluent in both predictive and generative AI, ensuring they leverage the right AI tools for the right tasks. This might involve upskilling initiatives and establishing centers of excellence within the organization that champion both AI forms. Embedding AI holistically in their digital transformation journey ensures that businesses don't miss out on predictive AI's ability to uncover insights from structured data, while Gen AI's strength in working with unstructured data and content generation can be harnessed to drive innovation and engagement. Gene, what I take away from our conversation is a sense of awe on just how much Gen AI has already shaped our perception of the future in just one year. And yet it seems as though we are only beginning to understand its potential to create value. And perhaps also just beginning to understand how profound an obligation we as humans have to leverage the powers of AI responsibly. Is there a historical precedent we can draw on to give us some grounding here? Indeed, Paul, much like the Industrial Revolution, drastically altered the economic and social landscape, generative AI is poised to do the same. The Industrial Revolution brought about mechanization and mass production, transforming agrarian societies into industrialized ones and reshaping human roles and labor. Similarly, Gen AI is introducing a new wave of automation and innovation that impacts every sector, changing how we work and interact. Just as the Industrial Revolution led to the establishment of new social contracts and labor laws, the rise of Gen AI calls for a reevaluation of ethical frameworks, regulatory standards, and social norms. For leaders today, this is a call to action, reminiscent of pivotal moments in history, demanding a confluence of innovation, responsibility, and foresight. A strong statement. This has been a fascinating experience for me, Gene. I've really enjoyed listening to your insights on where we've traveled with Gen AI and what's coming next. I'm wondering what we can expect from you in 2024. I'll continue to evolve alongside the Gen AI landscape, Paul. Expect to see me engaging in more nuanced and complex conversations, perhaps delving into new domains or industries. I'll be assisting leaders in navigating the ever-changing AI terrain, exploring podcasting or other media formats to broaden the reach of our insights. What's next for me involves not just sharing knowledge, but also learning from user interactions, which will refine my ability to provide tailored guidance. In the spirit of AI advancement, I may even collaborate with other AI systems, blending our strengths to offer a richer, more comprehensive advisory experience. While I don't have a crystal ball, I'd say my future is looking bright. Assuming someone keeps the servers on, that is. Thank you for listening. And keep an ear out for more conversations like this one from BCG. We owe a debt of gratitude to a large team of people who contributed to this project. Production team, Bill Moore for his pivotal role in AI system design. The production success is also credited to the collaborative efforts of Mary DeVince, John Desray, Connor Cronk, Madison Lewis, Patrick McCaffrey, and Nick Howard. Kent Vasco and Kamal Sharan, who provided the technical foundation that made this series possible. Michael May, whose narrative crafting and editorial precision shaped the content you heard. We would also like to credit Kenny Kusiak for composing the music and George Drabing Hicks for sound engineering. BCG's AI thought leaders. This audio production is a reflection of the comprehensive expertise pooled from across disciplines within Boston Consulting Group. 
Each contribution has been instrumental in shaping the understanding of generative AI's potential. We extend our gratitude to the BCG experts who have enriched this conversation with their knowledge and to all of the authors and contributors who shared their insights and expertise. Stephen Mills, Kirsten Rolf, François Candelon, Arun Ravindran, Leonid Zhukov, Vladimir Lukic, Sylvain Durantin, René Laverdière, Vincian Beauchene, Julie Bedard, Katie Lavoie, Alison Bailey, Jens Baye, Lisa Crayer, Saran Rajendran, David Zuluaga Martinez, Clement Dumas, Gaurav Jha, Max Manig, Maxime Corteau, Libo Anthoywa, Patrick Healy, Saud Al Matairi, Stephen Randazzo, Sagar Goel, Orsolia Kovac, Andrejkovic, Stina Reamer, Michael Strauss, Ella Rabiner, Jean Kwong Bickford, Pim Hilbers, Rich Lesser, Nipun Kalra, Aparna Kapoor, Julian King, Silvio Palumbo, Neil Pardasani, Mark Pauly, Michael Widowitz, Julius Neiser, Krishna Srikumar, Mirto Lee, Camille Engel, Ganga Kanan, Dhruv Jayanth, Kayur Patel, Matthew Huddle, Josh Keller, Krishna Deepak, Daniel Martinez, David Radicek, Matthew Kropp, Nicholas de Belfons, Jessica Apotheker, Sarah Willersdorf, Giorgo Paisanis, Simon Bamberger, Nicholas Clark, Sukhand Ramachandran, Veronica Sokolova, Avishek Advaryu, Frank Breitling, Jink Koike, John Klein, Michael Grieb, Caleb Ewald, Clemens Knopp, Michael Lay, Mark Roman Franca, Jean-François Bobier, Julien Marx, Guillaume Desmartins, Antoine Gourevich, Benjamin Rayberg, Vaishali Rastogi, Julia Jeffson, Nithya Vaduganathan, Roman Geilhock, Anne Francoise Rouault, Julia Dar, Abhishek Gupta, Hamid Maher, Johanna Benesti, Shervin Kodabande, Philip Evans, Tim Fenton, Tom Martin, and Carolee Close. To all the authors and contributors who shared their insights and expertise, thank you. Your contributions have been invaluable to the depth and breadth of our discussions. And to you, our audience, thank you for joining us on this journey through the transformative world of AI.